Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad to see you today for another vintage perfume review. And today it's a little bit different than usual. Um, I wanted to make a review about one of my top five uh, perfumes. It's definitely not my top five. I'm going to explain why I got this idea, why I really wanted to uh, talk about uh, this uh, perfume. So today I was at Publix, I was doing a little uh, shopping and I just uh, I just saw on an on a American magazine uh, that they were celebrating um, it was, yeah, they were celebrating the death of the famous, famous Latin American uh, singer named Selena Quintanilla. She's extremely famous uh, here in Miami. She's also a big, big name uh, in the Latin American uh, people. Uh, she died young. She was a very, very beautiful, very beautiful singer. I love her song, to be honest. I really fall in love with the with this woman, her universe, her song. She's a very, very classy, she was a very, yeah, she had a very classy look. So she died in the 90s very young, unfortunately, uh, but she uh, became a very popular, popular icon. Now she's a very, very big icon here in, uh, in, uh, in Miami and in the Latin American world. And, um, I knew that we had, we share something in common, Selena and me, we share the same uh, love for perfume. She was a big, big uh, perfume lover, but she also loved um, this perfume that we're going to talk about. Um, she loves Boucheron. Boucheron by Boucheron. Uh, it was a really like a, a favorite perfume. Uh, she used to wear this perfume all the time. And um, yeah, I got the idea because I saw this magazine. I'm a b also I'm a big fan of this woman. To be honest, uh, there is also a series on Netflix who has been launched a few months ago. So I'm gonna watch this series uh, tonight. To be honest, I didn't have time to watch this series on Netflix, uh, but I invite you also to watch this series. It's all about her life, etc. She died very young, at 24 years old. She was uh, murdered by another woman, actually. A woman who work for her and steal her money. There's a big, big story about it. Uh, but she used to love this perfume, and I think it was a good idea, you know, to um, yeah, to talk about uh, this perfume. Uh, it's a really nice idea to introduce this perfume and to talk about more about this perfume. And to be honest with you, um, I. I invite you to watch my previous video. Uh, I mentioned this perfume in one of my previous videos, but at that time I didn't have time to to wear this perfume. And now, now I'm talking. Uh, I'm talking about this one. As you can see, I wear this perfume a lot. I have more story, more emotion to to yeah to to share with you about this perfume because this perfume for me is 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 like. It's, it's a perfume, for me, it has a special place in my earth, but it has so much story, so much emotion now. I can explain to you how we have this perfume, what emotion, what, 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 which story behind it. It's, for me, this perfume is really like, you know, I'm gonna remember this perfume probably all my life probably on my life and I might die with this perfume. I might die <laughs> with this perfume on me. It probably Selena, Selena Quintanilla may probably die with this perfume on her. And this perfume for me, it's really like, it's something, it's unique. This perfume for me, it's the best oriental first you can smell. But um, it's really, uh, this perfume really define a, a certain type of woman. It's a very, very like sensual, sexy perfume, extremely elegant. It's a femme fatale perfume, okay? And it has so much, so much, so much story and emotion behind that. So yeah, that's why it was for me another way to introduce this perfume and talk more about it. So this perfume, Boucheron by Boucheron, um, was, um, was Quintanilla uh, favorite perfume. And I don't think it's, it's like, I think it's really defined a certain type of woman and Selena Quintanilla was very very uh, chic she was a very beautiful woman and she has also this you know this 
a very a vintage 90s look which I love you know how much I love the 90s I'm very fan of the 90s because women were super sexy first super sexy super chic um, never vulgar and there's a huge comeback especially here in the 90s set in, it's big also in LA there's a huge comeback about the 90s and the 80s actually uh, all about the makeup, the air, the style, how, uh, how you know, how women wear, um, yeah, the style, the woman's style in back in the 90s. It's a huge, huge comeback. And um, for me, this perfume really character characterizes a lot of the 90s. It's like, it's really the symbol, the emblem of the 90s. If if there's one perfume to define the 90s or the 80s, it's this one actually. The perfume has been a launch uh, and created in 1988, but it's more for me still a 90s perfume than the 80s. And it's such a, like, this perfume is such a like emblem, like, like an, a perfect example of the chic of the 90s. And um, Selena Quintanilla is really this woman, this 90s woman. Uh, she has this particular, very, very old school look, which I love about. Um, she had this very beautiful chignon, a 90s chignon, um, a little, yeah, very classy, very elegant, uh, very 90s makeup with like red lipstick. She wear all the time some kind of red lipstick, a little bit of eyeliner. She has this very 90s uh, old school look and I love this woman. I think she, 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 yeah, she's super classy, she, she's super chic. And she's a very good example also of the of 90s. So to introduce this, um, this perfume, to be honest, because we are going to talk more about this one. So this, this uh, perfume for me is an oriental. It's a French oriental. And um, how can we explain what is a French Oriental? Because if I say to you an Oriental perfume, you're going to think about Middle East perfume with a lot of oud, very loud perfume with oud, a lot of musk, a lot of vanilla. But when we think about yeah, Oriental perfume, we think usually of oud. And French Oriental is a little bit different, actually. Uh, there's a lot of first because there's no oud, okay? There's no oud in this perfume. But it's a mix of white flowers, vanilla, musk, with a little bit of basilic, bergamot on the top knot. It's a very, very French. For me, it's the perfect example of what could be a French oriental. And a French oriental is different. It's not too loud. It's a very, like, very classy, fresh notes with a powdery boucheron powdery smell on in the back, in this background, and the boucheron powdery smell is a very, very elegant. Boucheron pour, for me, a very, very oriental perfume, but this boucheron powdery, it's like the Chanel powdery, okay? It's very, very specific, very particular. There's a kind of blade of musk, vanilla, with like probably an animalic note, uh, like some, some CV notes, uh, really. And this blind of white flowers, and you know how much I love white flowers. For me, white flowers, it's like super, super classy, super chic. There's no chicest than white flowers in perfume, actually, and it's very, very French. Um, but, um, yeah, this perfume for me is a very sensual, very sensual, very chic, very elegant, old school 90s perfume. And it really characterizes this, uh, who was actually um, Selena. Selena was really chic. She was very, very elegant and she really defined the 90s, um, 90s elegance. Um, now I have like probably a, a story with this perfume because I wear this perfume uh, for um, for the new year, for this new year in Miami and um, I will always remember this perfume. Uh, I remember what happened. I came to Miami with no perfume at all. Uh, and uh, yeah, I really wanted to, to really find a perfume for this spe very special time. I knew uh, at that time it was super, this new year will be su super special. First, because uh, we, still, we were still in the middle of a pandemic and the only place probably in the world with like 
you know, where we, you can party and enjoy was Miami. Uh, I was alone at that time. I just broke up with my ex fiance So very, very harsh, very, very unique time actually, you know. And um, yeah, I was, I decided to party in Miami to enjoy and I didn't have any perfume. And I remember uh, my first reaction was like, okay, I need to find a perfume for tonight. I really need to find a perfume for tonight so I can remember this special night all my life. And um, I came to a very close, I, I stayed in Brickell. So I, I came to the CBS, uh, the closest CBS from my hotel. And uh, in this CBS, which I love about Miami, they sell perfume. Usually in United States, they don't sell perfume in CVS. Here in Florida, in Miami, you can find in all CVS most of the time, like a, a location where an area, a perfume area actually. And I came to the, to the CVS, I saw all this perfume, I was a little bit lost. And my uh, reaction, I saw immediately this perfume, like I saw this perfume immediately. And I remember that uh, the first time I smelled this perfume was seven years ago uh, in San Francisco in, at the airport. Um, I was hanging out, waiting for my flight to come back to Paris. And um, I was really intrigued by this bottle, this bottle. I love Sapphire, by the way, so I love this, you know, the, the cap and everything about this perfume. I was really intrigued by the, just by the bottle, to be honest. And I smelled this perfume seven years ago and I was amazed by the smell, like amazed. I didn't buy the perfume because at that time I had probably already like 100 bottles, but I was amazed by the smell. I was so amazed, so attracted, so captivated by this smell that there was something super, super attractive in this perfume, like super unique, something different. And, um, I didn't buy the bottle, but you know, at this CVS that night, I remember seven years ago that I used to love this perfume. So I saw this bottle. I asked the lady, uh, the lady to open the, you know, to open the glass, and I said to this lady, "Okay, I'm gonna take this this perfume." I didn't even try or smell. I took this perfume, and um, I went back home. And I smell the perfume and I think, okay, this is a perfect perfume for tonight. Uh, this is a perfect night perfume, by the way, night perfume, if you are looking for someone a very animalic, an animalic perfume is a perfume which really like captivates you with something very animal in this perfume. It's a femme fatale perfume if you want to see juice, if you want, if you want to see to attract, there's something very, very attractive, very sexy in this perfume, but in a very elegant way. I, I never saw something so chic and elegant in my life, actually. And, um, and yeah, I went back home, I checked on Fragantica online, I saw so many beautiful comments about the, this perfume, and I, when I spray, I knew this perfume will be like, my perfume, my perfume. When I smelled this perfume the first time, I was probably 24, 25. So that's why I didn't buy this perfume. But now I'm in my, on my 30s and I think I'm, I'm more comfortable to wear this perfume. This perfume is really for someone in, in, in their 30s, 40s. Um, it's a very chic, it, it suits more, probably more my style now, or my personality, probably, than before. And, um, it's so chic. I never smell something like that. So chic. It's the sh one of the chicest perfume for me. It's, it's Boucheron, this one. And uh, so I spray this perfume. I spray this perfume. I was so enveloped by this, uh, you know, this white flowers, oriental animalic notes. I felt so feminine, you know, so like, I felt so chic, so, so chic. Uh, I wore for uh, the new year a very long black dress, very, very chic. And I took an Uber to, to go to this party. And the Uber uh, told me, you smell very good, very good. You're gonna attract a lot of people. I will always remember that. He said, whatever you put on you, you smell very good. 
Um, so I was like, thank you. And he asked me for the name of the perfume and I told me, yes, yeah, a French perfume, very old, very, very, you know, very old perfume. Maybe you, you know it, it didn't know, of course. Uh, because it's no, you know, it's not something that you can find like easy, not easily, but it's not like, you know, it's not a typical or common perfume. To know this one, you have to very, you have to be into vintage smell, okay? And yeah, I, I already started to have a, a compliment just in the, in the car with this perfume. I party all night. I met someone. I met someone for New Year. A very special person. Um, and I will always remember this night. This night, it was a magic, magical night for me. It was, you know, I will always remember this new year in Miami actually. And now I associate this perfume with my Miami, uh, Miami uh, lifestyle, Miami experience. I fell in love with Miami. Uh, I fell in love with, uh, you know, with uh, a, a part of Miami, you know, the chic, elegant part of Miami. Uh, I know it's weird to say that, but some kind of, you know, some magical experience of Miami. Um, and now, yeah, now this is my perfume. When this, you can say this is your perfume when you have a lot of like memories about it, emotion, connection with your perfume. And now I can say this is my perfume. So we're gonna smell this perfume now together. And uh, but I just want to warn you that the second I smell this perfume, I'm like, I'm so captivated by this smell, I swear. And I really picture Selena, I really picture the look, I really like... If something is happening with this perfume, I, I really strongly suggest you to, 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 to just to try and to smell this one because it's, it's, such a, it's such a chic perfume, there's no way like... So first, I'm gonna spray on, on here, on my, also my, um, my wrist. I don't want to put this perfume in in any stick, any paper. <laughs> this perfume is is something like, mm, oh la la, I swear, it smells so good, so so good. It's a very long lasting, also smell long lasting, like not loud but super long lasting and. I, I, I remember all the reviews on Croise Antica I think that this perfume, uh, some people were picturing a very rich, very wealthy woman, um, uh, someone with very sophisticated woman, like a CEO who is entering in the room with this powdery smell and like she's wearing a, a very elegant business suit uh, with like also, you know, t like a sh very chic tire you know, very, very um, chic skirt with high heels. Um, they picture really a very elegant woman, very confident, very sensual. Um, and it's definitely also like uh, Selena. Selena, she was very feminine, very, very feminine. So it's a very feminine perfume, but on a very chic, chic way. Oh, okay, this perfume for me is a chic in, chic in bottle. Okay, if you want a perfume if you want really to um, create a perfume with a word chic, this is a uh, boucheron. This is perfume. <laughs> so the top notes are very fresh in this perfume. We have a mix of orange, tangerine, bergamot, basil. Uh, basil, the basil nut is super, super like, make this perfume different. Uh, there's also a bourgeon de cassis, like probably a little bit of cassis. Oh my gosh, and what I love in this perfume is more like the middle and base nut for me, it's make me so like, it's so addictive, I swear, I swear, and it matches very much my skin, that's why I can say it's a, it's a very, very good perfume, or it's my perfume, because the moment I put on my skin, it's super, there's something like, match very well my skin, because the notes are very, very like, I can very, I smell very much the notes on my skin, like it's like my second skin. So the second, the middle note I really love. It's also the, some smell I used to love on perfume. So there's a mix of tuberose, ylang ylang, 
Jasmin, fleur d'oranger, so blossom, blossom, fleur d'oranger, it's blossom, blossom, I love blossom, I love blossom, I used to put blossom in my, uh, in my house, um, really to make it smell very good, so I love blossom. Narcisse, muguet, I love also muguet, so muguet is a French white flower, we, we use also to uh, buy, to celebrate the 1st of May, it's give you, um, give you really good luck in life. It's, it's a French uh, celebration we do. It's a very traditional French celebration. So uh, Muguet is a beautiful white flower and there are very, very few perfume on the market who use Muguet, actually. I have another one from Van Cleef and Arpel. Uh, they have a Muguet Blanc called Muguet Blanc, so white Muguet, which is extremely difficult to find. I probably have uh, one bottle back in Paris. I used to love Muguet Blanc. I love the smell of Muguet. That's why I really love this perfume because all the white flowers, Muguet, Jasmin, Ylang Ylang, it's all the white flowers I used to love. I used to love. And which makes very, very unique, it's the Muguet Nuts. The Muguet, Muguet makes this perfume for me like so addictive, so addictive. And the base not a very traditional, I'm gonna say they're more traditional for like um, like a classic, it's more like a classic oriental. We have amber, we have musk, we have civet, so civet a very animalic, very vintage nuts, okay? You don't find civet anymore in the uh, regular uh, modern perfume. First because they replace uh, this civet nut uh, by something more synthetic. Most of the time, they, they don't use civet anymore. That's why I also suggest you to find some vintage bottle of this one, probably because in the 80s, 90s, civet was still allowed in perfume. And now, for like, you know, ethics reason or whatever reason, they replace civet by something more synthetic. So civet was a note, um, was a very powerful note used in perfume back in 10, 20 years, 30 years ago. And they used to extract civet from uh, a little small animal called also civet, the same name. But for ethics reasons, they stopped and they replaced with something synthetic. But the problem is the synthetic notes has nothing to do with the real civet. Um, and we call this not very animalic because yes, it's animalic. It's been extracted from animals, so that's why it's an animal animalic note. But it's so addictive, and this perfume for me is yeah. So that's why I really strong. I strongly suggest you also to find probably find niche uh, niche vintage bottle on eBay or um, you can buy this one. Like probably you know you you will find this one in CBS, Sephora, whatever. But if you have a chance to buy um, a, bo a vintage bottle, you're gonna find probably the seven note that you won't find in the modern, in the regular modern bottle, uh, just because they replace it and it's not allowed anymore. You're gonna find a lot of vanilla. So the vanilla is also super present in this perfume. So if you love vanilla, if you love musk, if you love amber, go for this one. Uh, very French per uh, note called, called mousse de chêne. So mousse de chêne is a very green um, woody nut. That's why I love this perfume because there are very few oriental who can combine a woody nut in the base with white flowers in the middle. It's super rare. This perfume for me is so rare in terms of smell. It's the best oriental I can smell, I can find out there. The, the chicest oriental I ever smell in my life. And, um, and like I said, I really picture Selena wearing this perfume because it's a very Selena 90s old school um, style, you know, very chic, very uh, a feminine woman, very classy, old school, you know. Selena, she was wearing most of the time black, a very uh, red lipstick, like a French woman actually. And she has this typical, um, typical wavy, wavy curly hair of the 90s all the time, some kind of blow dry, very perfect blow dry. When she attached the hair, it was very 90s, also chignon. Um, I, I can tell it's a Selena perfume and I really picture this old school 90s woman, super chic, super elegant. And I love this perfume. 
I, that's why I, I needed to make a review, maybe a deepest review for this perfume. If I have to describe my top 5 perfume, this perfume is definitely in my top 5 and probably right now in my top 3. And with all the emotion and now the memories I, I can um, I explain to you, it has a very special uh, place in my heart in my life. This perfume uh, will be forever, forever in uh, my uh, beauty cabinet actually. It's gonna be in my beauty cabinet for like, for all my life. I can, you know, some perfume, you have a very, a very strong or very special, unique connection with some perfume. And uh, now this one, it's, for me, it's like, it's, yeah, it's, it's my best. It's one of my best oriental. And I shouldn't wear this perfume. So this perfume uh, is definitely a night perfume. And when I wear this perfume in Miami, I started to wear this perfume in Miami. It wasn't during the summer. Right now we're coming to the summer. So I used to wear this perfume uh, for winter in Miami. I will recommend to wear this perfume uh, more for spring, winter, autumn. It's not a summer perfume per se because now it's too hot, too warm and I wouldn't wear this oriental. It's a, it's a navy chic oriental, okay? It's a, it's a, there's a lot of pronounced, you know, oriental notes and the musk and this, all this musk, amber and mousse de chêne. It's not really something that can really uh, match or fit a very, very hot, humid uh, weather. So not for the summer, but definitely winter, spring. Um, I will also wear this perfume for the day, not at work, but um, I mean, it depends, it depends the type of work you are doing. It's in a very conservative, uh, if you have a very conservative job, this perfume might be too, um, too, probably a little bit too in the seduction. Actually, it's a very seductive perfume. Uh, but if you outside or if you work like yeah depending of your work you can wear this one because it's so chic and so elegant it's not too loud uh, definitely night perfume okay for a date for a special occasion for an event for for a date this is your best uh, best card for a date you can't go wrong with this one um, definitely um, you're gonna receive a lot of compliments actually and uh, yeah, yeah, I really picture like someone definitely very feminine, high heels, very classy, very old school, very chic. There's no age for this perfume for me because it's a, now it's a timeless perfume. You know, it's a very vintage bottle, timeless, uh, very associated with uh, Selena Quintanilla. So it's a timeless perfume when it's also associated with a big, big star, big icon. Um, yeah, and. I wear, now I wear, yeah, I can wear this perfume day and night, more for the winter. So that's it for today. It was a special review about a Boucheron and Selena Quintanilla, a favorite perfume. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video. I'm also going to start to make more video about actress, actresses perfume and also French actresses um, like Catherine Deneuve, which is also one of my favorite icon. But if you enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe. Also, it gives me a lot of motivation to continue. Um, and I wish you a very, very good day. You can also uh, follow me on social media, for example, my Instagram. Don't also forget to reply and to leave a comment. I will very, I will be happy also to reply. And uh, yeah, I love, I love usually all your comments. So I wish you a very, very pleasant day and I see you for another vintage uh, perfume review.